Hey everybody! <clears throat> Pardon me, welcome back to Northern Lion plays of uh, the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Great Maggie run last time, Technology 2 ended up being a viable pickup, and we're gonna get Samson. It feels like, I know the randoms are weighted, but it sincerely feels like we get Maggie and Samson like, maybe 40% of the time? Here's one for my apparent dyslexia, 2C8BHCQX. I look forward to seeing the tweets that I got that seed wrong. Concussive tears right off the bat, you know this is being recorded on the same day that I recorded the last episode. There's a lot of items in Isaac. And you know, we, we play a lot of runs of Isaac, obviously. But it does seem like you get a lot of the same items on the same day. Maybe it's just coincidence or chance. We might as well try this out. Because we get a little bit of a damage bonus anyway as Samson. Um, but, I don't know, you know, a lot of random number generators do use things like, you know, the day or the time as part of the parameters for actually generating random numbers, because, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but to, to generate, like, a truly random number is actually an exceptionally difficult task. I'm not going to go into the mechanics of it, because, to be effing honest with you, I don't really know. But I know that, you know, it, it's, it's hard to make a generator that actually does stick to the rules of randomness if you if you look at it over a large enough sample size i think some things they do are like you know the, it's the percentage chance that like they check and see if like an atom has decayed with like a certain half-life and then that causes parameters to go one of two ways anyway you should look at it it's actually pretty interesting it's so interesting that i forgot all about it anyway you think you know you just type like no you just do it just think of a random number it's hard man to have no influence or as little influence as possible. True random is a very difficult thing. Anyway, uh, we don't need anything to do with this. What I'm going to do, just for shits and giggles, basically, and because I would love to get an actual chest out of uh, the sacrifice room so that we could do something with either the keys or the bombs, but anyway, I'm going to come back down here, and I'm going to do it even one more time. And that's going to give us a huge damage bonus. So whatever boss we're facing, not a good time for them. Not going to have a good day. Uh, and we'll still be at full HP. That is like the ideal bomb spot right there. We'll pick this up. It's famine anyway, which is not that big of a deal. Uh, not a huge damage boost, I guess, but uh, we'll learn to live with it. And if we can get, you know, on the track for like a fourth level meat boy, fourth level bandage girl, I wouldn't mind. It's a very good offensive upgrade. And, you know, for level one and two, it's a half decent uh, defensive upgrade as well. But let's be honest. Well, I don't, I'm of two minds about it. I was going to say, let's be honest, how many times did we fight Famine on the first floor and still it took us like 280 episodes to get Meat Boy? But, let's be honest, do you think the game would really not give me Meat Boy now? Like, it seems like the right course of action, right? Make him work his ass off to get Meat Boy, grind out like hundreds and hundreds of runs, and then just be like, yeah, no, we're giving out Meat Boy for free now. No problem. Uh, if there's anything I like more than this room, it's doing this room twice. So we will pick up Counterfeit Penny. A lot of people told me Counterfeit Penny, well, not a lot of people, but a couple of people told me Counterfeit Penny was actually their last item for Real Platinum God. I can totally relate to that. I made an effort to uh, play the Three Skull Monty a hundred times to unlock Counterfeit Penny earlier. And I actually kind of wish I didn't, because I prefer to get just the money out of the Golden Poop. Even if Counterfeit Penny does have a tendency to give you more money than, you know, maybe just getting five or six cents flat. Um... I'd rather get five or six cents flat most of the time because, you know, Counterfeit Penny takes up a trinket slot. So, I don't like doing this, but I am extremely happy that I did now because we can go into our shop and there should be uh, a bomb for sale. And in fact, we might be able to get super lucky, and I don't really care about the ladder, but we might be able to get super lucky and uh, pick up another two cents and then buy the spirit heart. Uh, I much prefer Petrified Poop, but Petrified Poop plus Counterfeit Penny is great. If we could just get Mom's Purse or something like that, that would be awesome. Um, but anyway, uh, in doing this, we should be able to get the five cents necessary to buy the Spirit Heart or to get a Deal with the Devil, or sorry, a Blood Bank on the next floor. And if we got a Blood Bank on the next floor, I'd be pretty stoked about that. Maybe get an IV bag. Could be a fun time. Anyway, we probably won't buy that Spirit Heart, even after all the, the bluster that I went through. Uh, I will stick with Counterfeit Penny in case we find our secret room, but, um... Bomb this out. Hopefully it's got a Spirit Heart. It does. And we'll just go now. Bit of a weird first floor, but it got the job done. We got five cents, so we've got an okay chance of getting an arcade on the next floor. If we get it, we're gonna get a huge damage bonus, maybe get the IV bag to carry with us. I like it. That is not an arcade, but I really hope that there is an arcade so we can access that room now. 
For a first floor in which we didn't really gain all that much, I'm feeling like, you know, gray skies are gonna clear up. Put on a happy face. This is going okay. Very, very good chance of getting a deal with the devil. Enough consumables to go to all the, uh, all the rooms of imports. Don't really want that. Got a lot of trinkets. We're a little spoiled for choice. Spoilt for choice, actually, I guess, with our, um currently available trinkets. We don't need him though. Counterfeit Penny is a its a solid enough trinket to take until at least the womb is over, you know? Especially if we're gonna be playing Blood Bangs or using IV Bag. This will end up maybe making it plausible that we get to 99 cents. Which, if I remember correctly, is, uh, you know, enough to buy uh, some shit from the thrift shop? Is that reference, like, super dated yet? I don't know. I was already dating myself when that song came out. We're gonna be over 15 cents, which is awesome. Use justice. Oh! Get ourselves some more HP. And we can afford to fight the boss. You know, either we're gonna kill him or we're probably going to die. But we're, I think, gonna get the kill. Dingle's not so bad. He is concussed. He should be taken out of the game. He's gonna find himself with, uh, you know, long term brain trauma if he keeps it up, dog. You gotta get out of the game. Nobody's gonna think you're a puss. Be cool about it. Okay, Cat of Nine Tails is a great item. We're gonna be maybe over 30 cents. We got pretty close anyway. And uh, we're gonna be fighting Krampus, which is unfortunate, because we're gonna lose our, uh, or we're never gonna get our deal with the Devil Precedent. And also, I'm a little scared that I'm just gonna die, but hey. We picked up a lump of coal, so there's that. Our damage is gonna be through the roof right now. Little bit concerned about our overall survival. That's some, that's weighing on my mind a little bit right now. Please don't throw. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. Oh, shit. Okay, that was close. Luckily, with our damage bonus, we're taking them out pretty quickly. Further away we can get, the better. <laughs> Were you scared? Don't be scared, homie. We're good. Rainbow Baby. Not what I was looking for. No mullabooms, please. This should be where we get safe again. Yeah, we don't really want Magic Fingers. Uh, we'll take our Red Heart. Magic Fingers does not interest me in this present situation. We did not have an arcade, so we are lucky. <laughs> I mean, it's your mileage may vary, but I think we're lucky that we got um, the Blood Bag right there. And I can't be trusted, so I'm basically just going to come back here and play the Blood Bank again. Because I trust that we'll get something of value out of it. Now we can also go back to our Boss Trap Room, which I think is a, you know, a smart idea. Whoa! That is a crawl space. Now, spider butt is not the kind of item that normally you'd go, whoa, about. But we don't have any space bar items. Uh, so, spider butt, it's okay. I don't think it's that uh, useful, but we did get it for free. And we don't have any options when it comes to re-rolling it or anything like that. So, we'll just have to live with it. Red chests, please. Uh, not happy about that, but... Those guys are gonna get seriously hurt by the bomb. That's awesome. And then we have Larry Jr. after that. If we slow him down, he's gonna be uh, he's gonna become a pussycat, basically. It also did half of the damage necessary to kill him, which is ridiculous. We also picked up another uh, red heart, and we picked up another spirit heart. So I totally feel like we can go into our uh, blood bank room with a you know a certain amount of confidence again. I was thinking we could use Fish Head to generate some flies. We probably should have done that earlier, but whatever. Counterfeit Penny we'll just take instead. I mean, it synergizes well with the Blood Bank play anyway. Kind of surprised we didn't get more payouts. You know, no IV bag, but here we are in a relatively good position. 30 cents. We picked up Lump of Coal. We picked up Cat of Nine Tails. More money than we know what to do with. Let's move along. I don't really want to go to that curse room right away. I want to go to it, but I don't want to go to it right away. Just a little bit too much of a risk. So our damage is, like, beyond acceptable right now. I would love to, uh... I would love to pick up, like, 9 volt. So that we can use, uh, spider butt every single room. Even if an item... Ah, that's pretty good. Even if an item is not particularly useful, uh, if, if you can use it every single room, that goes a long way. Think about, like, Tammy's head. If you couldn't use Tammy's head every room, would it be that useful? Uh, with some synergies, yes, but with most synergies, you'd probably take something else for sure. Same with Guppy's head. You know, it makes Box of Spiders a lot better, stuff like that. We'll use Burkano. Might as well get ourselves a little bit of something-something here. 
I don't think we'll, in all likelihood, have a great opportunity to give ourselves the damage bonus that I'm looking for on this floor. But hopefully, you know, the game takes pity on us for making us pay the Krampus tax so early. It didn't even allow us to, to, to get a head start on things. And then, uh, it, it gives us a deal with the devil here. Chemical peel. Shows up all the time now for some reason. It's a, it's a decent item, I guess. Can't really be too mad about it. It's a damage upgrade. This run's shaping up kind of nicely, actually. We'll definitely buy a steam sale here. Magic fingers, how about you magic go fuck yourself? I have no interest in picking up what you're selling, man. Take a hint. Bad damage. That's okay, though. You might think Master of Unlocking is a good choice, and uh, this room in particular agrees with you. However, uh, we're going to roll with Counterfeit Penny, I think, for the near future. Unless we get Guppy's Tail on this floor. So Master of Unlocking, let us pick up a free Able get. It's okay. Able is, uh, I mean... It's an item. I wish, wish I could be more uh, positive than that. We could open that for one key, because we'd have to, you know, pop open the, the gate there. I don't think it's worth it, though. I think that's an inflated value proposition. You know, it, it's like, you know, if you go to a store and there's something you don't want, but it's 50% off, and you're like, oh, that's a good deal, I gotta snag it. If we found a golden chest for one key right now, considering we only have one key, we would probably be like, eh, I'm not going to do it. But because it would normally cost two keys, I'm like, oh, we should do it because we can get a deal. Well, one way or another, uh, we're going to get a deal with the devil item here. And we might, if we get super lucky, be able to snag another deal after the fact as well. That was just terrible damage. The throw is real right now. Yep. Yeah. We made it. Okay, we got Necronomicon out of it. Honestly, I kind of feel like instead of once every six rooms Necronomicon... We should buy a Spirit Heart if we can. Uh, instead of going once every... I think we already bought it. Instead of going once every six rooms Necronomicon, I think once every two rooms... Uh, spider Butt is maybe better? I don't know. I think it's pretty much universal, but I hate that room. Oh, I didn't buy it. Okay, so we can buy these two, and that will still allow us to have enough money to spawn an arcade on the next floor, which will be awesome, because I want to get the blood bag or IV bag. Really, I'd take either at this point. Our HP could be in a better position. So, would it still cost us a key? I think it would cost us a key to open that first lock. Just the golden chest would be, you know, free. Let's head down to the next floor. Good chance for a deal with the devil on the next floor. An arcade showing up would be extremely, extremely nice. And we're gonna, you know, take advantage of the fact that it just happened right now. Child's Hearts. What do you think? Child's Heart or Counterfeit Penny? Like, maybe like Child's Heart if there's no pennies on the ground, Counterfeit Penny if there are. We're gonna already have more damage than we did on the last floor. I, I'm, I'm tempted to open it, but, you know, we've really got to... Give ourselves the best possible chance of getting into our item room and our shop. Oh, okay, and uh, of not dying also, that would be nice. I guess we're going to come back here. This is the benefit of having an arcade as well, is if you take yourself a little bit lower than you'd like, you can still um, you can still feel safe on these rooms. We got super lucky. Picked up a spirit heart there, so we'll uh, go hard on this one again until we lose our next spirit heart. That was probably, you know, child's heart maybe had something to do with that. Now our damage bonus is going to be through the GD roof. Still only one key. Yeah, okay. If we're killing bonies in one hit, life's good. I almost hope that we fight, like, Chubb, or sorry, Chad on this floor. Because if we fight Chad, get little Chad. Puts me in a position where I have a lot of red hearts dropping. Combine that with the, the IV bag, which I expect to show up. We get a damage bonus on every single floor. You know, Bob's your uncle. All of a sudden, you're playing in the victory parade here. Yeah, the damage bonus from... Bloody Lust here is incredible. I think we've got the start of a beautiful Samson run. All we need is a uh, deal with the devil on this floor for a high damage item or like Dark Bomb or something like that. And then we never have to complain about anything else ever again. Or we could just get Brimstone and Mom's Knife for, uh, you know, either or. And then we'll just, you know, live with it. You know, just, just ball out of control as soon as possible. The Hollow. I almost feel bad. I am not surprised that I took damage there, but a little disappointed. Uh, I feel bad fighting the Hollow because we just steamroll the shit out of him. Damage plus range up. 
Yeah, okay, um, we're gonna take Whore of Babylon, because there's a pretty good chance, again, oh, come on. <laughs> there's a pretty good chance that I can get IV Bag, and if I get IV Bag, then we can make it so Whore of Babylon constantly works. Or it often works, anyway. It's not 100% guaranteed, but I think it's, uh, pretty realistic, pretty reasonable. Check out our shop. Don't mind fighting greed. Should get counterfeit penny, but I'm just going to be straight with you, you know. Well, first off, it doesn't matter, because we picked up our second steam sale, which unfortunately I don't think they stack, but still. We don't need counterfeit penny for that. Not a secret room. Looking for the secret room, because at this point, you know, something like the one-up or the onk would be very nice. And we're not going to be blowing the... Ooh, that's actually really tempting. I think we'll go to the item room and the shop, and, you know, we'll try... I'll tell you what, if we get IV bag... I don't think we'll use Forget Me Now, because IV Bag... Almost terrible damage there. IV Bag is more valuable. For the ability to keep us in the Horror of Babylon state and constantly, uh... Give us more money. Maybe we get Money Eagle's Power. Plus, you know, the, the damage upgrade via Bloody Lust, which is the most obvious outcome. But I would get rid of Spider Butt for another chance at this floor. You know, another chance at a deal with the Devil. Another item room, another shop, another arcade. Nope. Not touching that. Everybody gets a few items that, you know, even if they're wrong, they can say, like, I don't want to pick that up. You know, B-Rex, one of the world's best Spelunky players. It's probably better to take this. B-Rex, one of the world's best Spelunky players. He doesn't like the climbing gloves. I like the climbing gloves, but I respect B-Rex. He's a much better player than me, so he's entitled to do whatever he wants to do. Isaac's Heart is one of those items in Isaac for me. Basically, fuck Isaac's Heart. I still get messages and tweets literally every single day that are like, Yo, dipshit! You don't take damage from going into curse rooms if you have Isaac's heart. Yo, you can play Blood Banks forever. Yeah, it's not worth it, in my opinion, for the damage that I end up taking as a result. But, uh, that's, you know, it, the world don't move to the beat of just one drum. Should have been picking up Counterfeit Penny here. Uh, because this gives us an opportunity to play these guys as well. I mean, with Counterfeit Penny, we could have made money on that, uh... That technical loss. Health down! Really? That's a surprise. Uh, now I really want to forget me now. Or just another health down pill. I want to keep at least five cents. Kind of operating under the assumption that we'd be able to, you know, get an HP upgrade on the next floor. What's this pill? Okay, that's good. The spirit hearts are really helping, by the way. I'm very appreciative of those. This pill was explosive diarrhea. I'm so sorry, slot machine. And <laughs> three skull Monty. <laughs> oh my god, these pills, man. Well, um, we're pretty much at the end of this floor. Tomo, it's alright, buddy. You know, just because we had a bad time on that arcade, that doesn't mean shit's completely messed up. Figured we'd do this room, and I'm, I'm happy we did. Picked up another spirit heart. You never know how useful this may end up being for my overall chances of survival. Also, it's pretty clear that if we get IV bag, we're gonna be, you know, balling out of control with respect to uh, our damage here. Look, Mega Fatty is eating it. Normally, Mega Fatty is a, it's a very tanky boss. I would love to get that I, IV bag. I'm a little surprised that it hasn't even come close to happening yet. Didn't even get a blood bag, which at this point would compensate for the HP downgrade, make me feel a little bit better about myself at least. I mean, it was worth doing. Are we gonna get rid of the spider butt for Forget Me Now? I think it's the right play. Uh, I'm gonna try one last thing here. We're gonna pick up this and then blow up the blood bank. Yeah, Tomo? How's it going, buddy? Are you flowing? Man, I'd like to place my hands upon your fucking sexy ass and squeeze. And squeeze. That's, uh, that's Tenacious D. Anyway, we're gonna do this floor over again, because quite frankly, you know, I want to be 17 again. We didn't do it right the first time around. Let's do it. Catacombs 2, with the chance to get a little bit of extra HP out of it. We got a different layout to the floor. It's gonna be used, uh, or hard to get used to the fact that our damage is shitty again. Well, not shitty, it's actually pretty good for where we are, you know, relative to the game. Uh, tinted rock there, that could be very valuable, especially if we get a small rock or something like that. That'll heal us up, the spirit heart is pretty valuable. Uh, like, we're doing really well on this run, and we actually, I, I guess I just ruined Horror Babylon for myself, I shouldn't have picked up that 
full health. Because I was at a half heart before, but whatever. We'll make do. Ten extra bombs. That is like, you know, I, I don't really want to do a floor for ten extra bombs, but whatever. Here we are. I figure let's blow this stuff up. Gives us a small chance of getting our uh, HP upgrade pill back. Well, it would technically be an HP downgrade pill, but it would be an HP upgrade pill. It would effectively do what an HP upgrade pill does. Don't like this room. Get those flies taken care of, then we get a little bit of space in the middle. Sneak in. Tell these guys that they're not invited to my dinner party. You are not adhering to the dress code of this establishment. We require our people to have, you know... Well, first off, clothing. Preferably if they could have a skull as well and not be exposing their, you know, bones to the other guests. Not just in a sexual sense, but literally, man, I don't want to catch osteoporosis from that shit. Get it away from me. This room should be easy enough. Really, really, really hoping we get lucky enough to find an arcade. Although, I guess I couldn't really play a blood bank at this point because of Maggie's faith. I could, but it would be a risk. Should be like two hits on each of these guys. Yeah, I figured that room would work itself out pretty easily. Well, if nothing else, at least we... Yeah, I figured <laughs> now we'd have one. Now that I realized it would be a bad idea, we'll have one. Um... I, uh... I'll check for the secret room here as well, but... If nothing else, you know, an extra whole floor to get Maggie's uh, faith to give us one more extra red heart, that's pretty okay. Two extra keys. I'm not touching that key beggar. Super greed. He's super greedy. He's a very greedy guy. Consistently underpays his workers. I could have saved a couple of syllables just by saying employee there, but anyway, employees. It's all right. Well, I'll put that in the the Rick James parody that I'm gonna air on the Lifetime Network in 2028. This whole YouTube thing is just a it's just a facade for me to eventually transition into like more traditional media outlets. Like you know, I, I want a talk show. I want to be the next Oprah. I think I could do it. I have a certain affability and charm that I like to bring to everything that I do, and I like to- I'm a dream maker, man. I like to make people's dreams come true. I mean, I never, I've never done it, but it sounds nice. No deal with the devil, but at least we got a damage upgrade. I guess we're just out of here. I'm happy for the damage upgrade. I am- I'm content that we did this floor. We basically got 10 bombs, HP upgrade, and, uh... A damage upgrade, with some speed as well. It's alright. Anything that ups our base damage? Cool in my book. We need to get a deal with the devil, and uh, preferably one for like high damage, so we can put ourselves in that permanent horror Babylon state. I'm gonna go back for that, obviously. Just a didn't uh, I, I underestimated my own speed there. Whoop! Ha <laughs> ha! You're crazy for this one. Nah, we made it. Okay. Um. Yeah, like this has been a nice, just a nice run right now. We've never really, well, there were a couple of times when we found ourselves fairly close to death, but if you ignore those, we've never really been close to death. Never consistently so, and picking up Magic Mushroom right here is just crazy. We've been getting that item fairly frequently, and I'm super excited to have it, especially with um, uh, Mini Mushroom. That means if I don't want to, I never have to blow up Mushrooms again, which is probably good, because I think we're past the point where Mushrooms will even spawn. So, uh, you know, screw you guys, I'm going home, you can't fire me, I quit, all that nonsense. Stacking up decent amounts of HP right now. Would love to pick up a decent space bar item. Nifty dodge there. Double husk is a little tricky. I saw a great suggestion on the subreddit, by the way. Someone said, you know, here's some things that they might want to consider if they want to make hard mode actually meaningfully hard without being, like, super frustrating for the wrong reasons. And I do think right now hard mode is kind of like... Wow, no deal with the devil? Don't walk into the exit by accident. I don't think there's a deal with the devil there. Um... Hard mode is kind of like, I'm, I don't want to sound cocky by saying it doesn't seem that hard, but it doesn't seem that much harder than normal. I'm not trying to say it's not difficult, but I don't think compared to normal, it's that difficult. Uh, but some of the suggestions that people had, or that the, the original poster had, beyond just, you know, not uh, having as many consumable drops and stuff like that, was have triple trouble rooms. So instead of just fighting like two bosses, you'd have a, a better chance of actually fighting three bosses at once. Uh, which I think would be cool, like a triple husk room. I think that'd be alright. 
Depends on the boss, right? You don't want to fight... Oh, that's a really good trinket. You don't want to try to fight uh, Triple Mega Fatty early on. Yeah, but it's hard mode. Yeah, but that's not fun, you know? It would kind of, like, compromise the fun of the game just for difficulty. I think, at least. Uh, we'll take the compass, we'll take the fanny pack, and uh, I don't think we really want the spirit heart. Compass plus fanny pack is pretty good. I think we're going to get rid of Maggie's Faith for Curved Horn. I'd rather have the da guaranteed damage upgrade. And honestly, I think we're going to get rid of the existing Eternal Heart that we have. Uh, to play the Demon Judgment some more. Give us a good damage bonus. Thank you for that. We'll get rewards out of it, like Two of Hearts, for example. Do we have Old Bandage? Why are we getting so many... Uh... Explosive Diary, okay. Why are we getting so many Red Hearts out of this? Not that I'm complaining. I really do think, oh, it's, I guess it's just fanny pack, like, working out nicely. I know you can play this twice, but when the guy's not wedged up against the wall, it's hard to get in there. Don't take that out of context. It's hard to, you know, do it perfectly. Yeah, there we go. We're in Whore of Babylon State anyway. That's another perk. He didn't pay out. That's all right. Flatworm, it's okay. Look at the size of these fucking tears. Look at the size of these fucking tears. I made a good decision, despite it being high risk. That's where you come in. You say high risk. Oh, snap. Wish that had paid out a little bit earlier, or I'd taken a little bit more damage, but still, we lost Horror Babylon. But we picked up Ceremonial Robes, which is crazy good. Let's go into our cursor, and we can afford it at this point. I still want fucking IV bag. So that I can get the, uh... The damage bonus on every single floor, but, like, this is... This is crazy good now. Like, we could probably, like quarter shot these guys, not even a one shot. And that's the end of this floor. Explosive diarrhea. I mean, I kind of want to use it on a room. Uh, whoops. You think I can do it? Whoops. <laughs> I kind of want to use uh, explosive diarrhea on a room with a lot of skulls, like this one. I think that was alright. Got a rune out of it, a couple of tarot cards. Rune is Awaz. Justice is nice. Credit card. We can use that on a deal with the devil. So I think that's a little bit more valuable to take with me. But we can use Awaz to see if we get a black market. Or a crawl space for that matter. And then throw this bad boy up here. I'll even try this one. We got bombs. Not too many, but that worked out real nice. Now, you might not even want to use the credit card for free deals with the devil. Considering we actually want to get in the... <laughs> smart play. Considering we want to get in the permanent Horror of Babylon state. How is Babylon formed? Down to the next floor. Great run so far. Always nice when you can get this kind of stuff working in conjunction. conjunction. No arcade. That sucks. Uh, maybe a random blood bank if we get lucky, though. It's always nice when you can get this kind of stuff working in conjunction on a Samson run. It's like Eve, you know? On an Eve run, sure. You know, one strategy that's bankable is getting into Horror of Babylon State and keeping yourself there. But um, it's always nice to just have great base damage as well so that you don't have to worry about that. Uh, yeah, we'll play the crap out of this, but let's check out this room. Not re-rolling my shit, by the way, in case you were wondering. Uh, I don't really love... Ugh. Ugh. I don't really love, uh, Judas's tongue enough. There we go. We got ourselves wedged in here nice. Real nice. Paid out with missing page two. That's something. We didn't quite get to, uh... The Whore of Babylon State, so I'm hoping we get a deal with the devil. Excuse me? Give away all of our red hearts on that deal with the devil. Curse room contains... Ah, uh, this is a good room. Good good layout, anyway. Goat head, maybe? No, just a... I stay at a half-heart interval just for, you know, old time's sake. That was definitely not worth it, and especially considering I ruined our half-heart interval. I don't feel like a smart guy right now. We can't afford to lose too much HP because, you know, we do need to stay alive on this for as long as possible. We have a Steam sale, so I don't really mind uh, investing pretty much all of our money into this judgment. Doesn't really bother me. We can probably get back to it. I would love for him to pay out so I don't have to fly back over here, though. Oh, come the fudge on. I pushed it out of the way? I'm gonna push you out of the way. 
out of the way of living. Suicide King. What a great card. In some situations. Anyway, our damage is going to be through the roof right now as a result of that uh, Demon Judgment. Unfortunately, you know, we won't be able to keep it that way. That is just terrible, man. I, I don't have much to offer in my own defense for that one. Please stop confusing the enemies as you're fighting them. Hoping for, uh, like, a good item room right here. Oh, my God. This damage. I'm starting to choke a little bit. Miter, great pickup. That makes me feel a lot less bad about the amount of HP that I have left here. Hopefully, this is my, um, this is the period where I fuck up and then I come back with some glorious plays in due time. Not really gonna worry about that, Penny. Should be one-shotting pretty much everything by this point. I'm interested to see how much damage we do against Mom. Not this Mom. This is just, you know, Wall Masters. Just the same voice. One-shotting the Wall Masters feels pretty good. It's also the new sitcom coming this fall to the CW. I should really watch, like, some CW shows before I consistently use them as a target. It's just the first network to come to mind, you know? I've never seen Supernatural. I know a lot of people love Supernatural. I'm not trying to shit on Supernatural. Now, we haven't been to our shop, but at the same time, I think I'm just going to go. I know we didn't get a payout from the Judgment either. We're doing a lot of damage to Mom. This is extremely nice. Pretty much done with the fight already. And that'll super do it. The fact that we did not get another deal with the Devil is actually mind-boggling to me. But anyway, down to the next floor. And we'll hope that we have a deal with the devil on this floor. I mean, we haven't taken red heart damage since, like, floor fucking two, but... I guess that doesn't matter. I totally forgot that we had the compass. I guess because I used that... Well, used is a strong word that doesn't necessarily convey the proper intention. We did use the, uh... The amnesia pill. But it wasn't what... It, it wasn't my design, you know? I didn't Will Graham that shit. I moved a little bit, and that's what put me in harm's way there. I'll take... F what is the transition that is happening on Curse of the Maze right now? It's actually kind of making me want to vom. Let's see what's in our mini-boss room. Sloth? I'm content with it, man. Even Bob's Rotten Head, yeah, which we did just get. It is an item that I, you know, didn't have a slot for, so I'm okay with it. I would love if this dice room turned out to be a five. Like, if this turned out to be... Oh, we got a golden key, too. Nice. It's a three. Crank these bad boys open. Take what you want. Leave the rest. Uh, sure, I'll take Bob's brain. It shows up on every run, but I'll, I'll take it anyway. And then we'll re-roll the shit out of it. Oh, my God. We That must be the miter, like, waiting that a little bit, right? Because we just picked up enough spirit hearts to take us to the HP cap. That's ridiculous. Oh, and we got a Yara rune as well. So I really, really want to use credit card uh, on this floor so we can take that Yara rune with us. Well, I, I can't get over this transition, man. Um, we also picked up uh, Satanic Bible, which means we don't have to roll with Bob's Rotten Head anymore. Which, you know, to be honest with you, I'm pretty excited about. Even though I was like, yeah, Bob's Rotten Head, we don't have a spacebar item. I think our tears are doing as much damage as Bob's Rotten Head. And we can use those on every room. So that reroll ended up being pretty awesome. Skull X fight shouldn't be too difficult at all here. I'm a little surprised that we're not one-shotting the guts. I mean, they have, like, decent HP, but still. I hate concussed pin and Skull X. Oh, so close. Do the tail one. If you, like, shake your tail feather up here, I'm pretty confident that I'll just be able to kill you in one hit instead of your freaking dumb face. Like, that's decent damage. Imagine if I could just do that more consistently. There we go. See? Very nearly did it in one go. We finally got a goddamn deal with the devil. And we can get down to permanent horror of Babylon state, so we actually don't want to use the credit card, weirdly enough. But we will get rid of the credit card to take the Yara rune with us. Because the Yara rune is awesome. And <laughs> as a result of uh, Whore of Babylon... Did we re-roll this? Yeah, two of diamonds out of it, sure. Um, as a result of uh, Horror of Babylon... Where's the Yara rune? Back here? Where the heck is the Yara rune? Oh, the... Curse of the Maze, man. 
Uh, as a result of this, we'll be able to get uh, eight items on the chest, assuming we can get one more key. That's excellent. This is pretty much as one as a run can get. We got the best of Eve, the best of Samson, and a ton of base damage. So I uh, pretty much have nothing to complain about, except I still would have loved to have picked up an IV bag at some point. Little salty about that, even though it's probably not going to have, you know, much in the way of uh, implications on the rest of the run. If we had just been able to pick up uh, an IV bag, then I could have had red hearts, gotten the damage bonus, and put ourselves in Horror Babylon on every single floor. But you know what? I don't want to sound bitter, because I'm not bitter. The game has been very kind to us. Uh, we're, we're balling out of control in a variety of different ways. Many different respects right now. I should have probably realized this would be a dead end. It's okay, though. We also have a great spacebar item, and, and pretty much all of our stats are excellent. Let's not talk about that. But I can't get into the curse room. It's still going to cost me one to get out, but hey, I figured, you know, why not take advantage of it while we had the opportunity to do so. Was the extra key worth it? Probably not. I doubt it'll end up being useful, but... Okay, Bob's brain needs to go. Oh my god, it almost hit me anyway. That was funny. That was a, an exploding diglet. I, I take responsibility for my damage there, but at the same time, tricky to avoid. I hate all of these enemies. Yeah. Got a little bit of a problem with Bob's brain in that, you know, any enemy we point and shoot at dies before the brain can explode, so I end up hitting myself with a lot of these Bob Bob's brainages. See? I never end up losing Bob's brain. Which means it's always a it's always a risk. Anyway, we're at 31 minutes. This run should start going very, very quickly. Now that we're uh Excuse me? Now that we're in a position where uh we're basically doing an unstoppable amount of damage. Pretty sure this is like amongst the highest damage I've ever had without one of the big three special like high damage tier effects. Big four, maybe? Like, without Death, Death's Touch, Mom's Knife, or Brimstone, this is up there. Or Abaddon. That was the fourth one. In my opinion. Might be some damage upgrades that are actually better than that. I mean, Epic Fetus and stuff like that, but whatever. Alright. Stand back. Concussive Tears maybe making my life easier than it even needs to be here. I appreciate it. Maybe didn't end up gaining HP there, but we certainly didn't end up losing HP, and let's move along. The Cathedral, I do not anticipate being too much of a problem. Wow, the boss fight is super close to us, but I'm going to go ahead and guess that, that means it's probably actually pretty far away in, you know, actual total room terms. In fact, if I had to guess, I'd say we... I hate this. <laughs> I hate New Curse of the Maze. I, I would guess that we go, like, around the right side and then come up, but... Three red chests is, like, kind of worth it, but I also just want to get down to the chest and see what kind of cool synergies we can get, and I don't want to risk taking too much damage, especially when the boss room is seemingly super close. It's not like we're going to become guppy anyway, so who really gives a shit about the red chests? Oh, we're going to get two spirit hearts, but probably actually it's just going to be, you know, flies. Yeah. I had a feeling that we we're going to have to go around this way, so this is... Oh my god, it's even longer! Oh, so we probably go bottom left, and then up and around. That is a sh shitty kind of tease of a room layout right there. That's disappointing. We gotta do what we gotta do, though. So, let's come down here. It's a good test for the for the chest. Love list. Can't stand the heat. Then get out the wild, wild. We're going straight to... I will use a key here. We probably don't need this many for the chest itself. And there's a spirit art if we need it. I doubt it's going to come in handy uh, like out of necessity because we already had more. But hey, that one's a convenient one, so we'll go pick it up. And this is where we begin our turn and start to go up. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look at the left side of your window, you'll see uh, Mount Bombfly. The, the biggest asshole on the cathedral. Ooh, yeah, we encourage you to take pictures. Whenever a pilot gets on the air and he's like, you know... Like, ladies and gentlemen, if you look out the left side of your window, I'm like, Why are you looking out the front side of your window, dog? You're in control of this this ride right now. I don't need a show, I just need to arrive, okay? We don't need to get, uh... We don't need to start a sightseeing tour here. I didn't pay for a 
you know, this isn't a, a cruise, the pleasure cruise. This is a matter of life and death. Please get me to my destination. Pay attention, Denzel. I'm not saying Denzel Washington because, like, my pilot was, you know, African American or anything like that. Denzel Washington plays a pilot in the movie Flight, which I would encourage you to see. It's a pretty good movie. Some people take issue with it because it's called Flight, but, you know, very little flying is actually done in the movie. But it's, you know, it's about a man's struggle to, uh, you know, live up to the pressures of, of life and addiction, and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's nice. It's a good, well, it's not nice, but it's a good movie. I would encourage you, I would, if you're interested, go check it, it's on Netflix. You don't even need to go to a, a local movie theater emporium or rental depot or anything like that. I'm gonna use a bomb here. I don't like to, because I can wean them out anyway, but... I was gonna say, we're due for a spirit heart there. Please, Bob's brain. Why isn't Bob's brain firing? Justice. Beautiful. Another spirit heart should we need it, but mostly just excited about that Yara rune. Oh, I'm actually glad we took a little damage on this floor. Every time we get hit, we will also have some permanent Polaroid invincibility action, which will allow me to sneak in there with my uh, single level cube of meat and really FS up. S in this case stands for uh, Isaac Shithole. Which I think is going to be, you know, Isaac's ass is going to be a new item in the expansion, probably. When you pick it up, it just farts on you and poisons you nonstop. But you can uh, walk into sacrifice rooms for a half a heart instead of, like, a, the full heart that the spikes would cost you. So, you know, people will tell you that it's pretty good. It's not. It's not going to be good. Don't believe their lies. No curse on the chest. Boy, I'm a lucky camper. Happy camper. Lucky so-and-so. <laughs> I was actually just about to say, like, I sort of hope I don't get, uh... Undefined, but I got undefined. So we have to decide, is it worth taking Blood of the Martyr when it'll give me... Oh, wait, Blood of the Martyr doesn't give you HP. That's Stigmata. So we can take Blood of the Martyr. Is it worth taking Thunder Thighs? I think, like, absolutely not. We'll try to get to I Am Error Rooms with Undefined. At least until we run out of chests. Uh, because it's fun, and I would like to, you know, stack up synergies as much as possible. I wasn't in love with the items that we picked up right there. Like, it could have been better. So if we can get, you know, four or five uh, error rooms to, to really round out this run, I would love to. This is one of, if you don't have a good spacebar item and a win is pretty much guaranteed, this is one of my favorite ways to end a run. Get on to find, just stack up error rooms, pick up stupid synergies until the cows come home, and just, you know, and learn to enjoy yourself. Sit back and live a little. This is basically like an absurd vacation right now. This is the, you know, post credit scene of the Hangover 1. I don't really want to do big rooms if I can avoid it. Oh! A second Yarrow rune! That means we can get another 16 freaking items on the... On the the, 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 the... the chest again. I hope I get some keys, actually, because I think we have to pay to unlock the golden chests in the error room if we get there. If there's golden chests in the error room, which sometimes there are. Not every time. But if there are golden chests in there, there will be golden chests in there every time because of the way that the, you know, you basically just get the same chest over and over if you get the error room and then go down. Maybe you can get curses sometimes, I don't know. Interesting run, though, that's for sure. Two Yara runes is, uh, very nice. Does not happen all that often. Dude, I was going to say you're going to have to do a little better than that, but he tricked me into hitting myself, so, I mean, there's something to be said for that. Before we go, is there anything else we want from this room? Don't think so. Alright, there's our secret room. Might not even get to do uh, what I want to do. Isn't that a sad story? For sale, baby shoes never worn. Maybe it's not quite that sad. But uh, we're, we're going to hope that we can make something good happen here. If I can get like a 48-hour energy card, that doesn't make sense. I would love to, though. The Fool. Uh, it doesn't really do too much for us, unless I wanted to teleport out of the I Am Error Room, which would make me a bit of a hypocrite. Really fun run, though. This is a great Samson run, you know. You should check out the seed on your own. Hopefully, you're, you've been playing alongside for a while here. Uh, been, you've been having a good time. I've been having a good time with it. I hope you've been having a good time with it as well. Thought we could sneak through there. I don't mind this room. Poops, you know, their their smell is worse than their snout, you know? Bark is worse than their bite, but their, their feces, so I wanted to, you know, take it to the next level. Are any of these, like, real diglets? I think they are. 
We're not done yet? Oh, there's one... Oh, there's three little dips. One little, two little, three little poop monsters. Four little, five little, six little poop monsters. Somebody teach this person how to wipe their butt. Shouldn't be this much poop on a butt. Probably, like, any poop is maybe a little bit too much, but sometimes people have accidents. That extra key hopefully comes in handy. I'm starting to lose hope about um, us being able to make the best use possible out of Undefined, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping the dream becomes a reality. Stand back. We do have Lump of Coal, right? So, this is pretty good strategy. There we go. So we got an HP upgrade we don't want. But what about the pills? Amnesia, explosive diarrhea, puberty. Thank God that's not telepills, right? Luck up will actually be awesome. So we want to take this. We don't want to take. Uh, we don't want to take the HP. We took the Yara rune with us. We basically are getting 16 items on the chest. It's not like it matters where you double it. This might be the last time we end up being able to do that. Uh, the soul, pretty good. Epic fetus, probably not gonna take it. A little too easy. Flaming bombs are cool. Not so good. Pretty decent. Eh, it'll be f interesting. Unicorn stump could be good, but anyway, we're gonna take the soul. We're gonna take best bud. We're gonna take strange attractor. We're gonna take uh, this other attack fly here. We're gonna take this one. Yeah. Decent. Does Bob's brain now? It does leave some fire on the ground. That's gonna be useful. Still kind of not like the greatest items that I would have hoped for, but you know what? We got some extra luck upgrades as well. I would expect some more chests to drop on this floor. But this will probably be the one where we end up uh, fighting Blue Baby, if I had to guess. And I do, you know, it's kind of my, it's part of my job anyway. Good stuff. Double dark one doesn't bother me that much. Oh, geez. Well, luckily we have fanny pack. I mean, we could still theoretically die here, but the there's many reasons why I'm unconcerned. One of them is that it's unlikely. I'm not going to be the guy who's like, oh, curse of the unknown, I hope we're going to win. We're in a pretty good position unless I make a terrible mistake. Um, but even if I do make said terrible mistake, we have Judas' shadow. So I would be pretty surprised if we, if we lost... And then, even more surprised if we lost, and then Judas' shadow wasn't enough to, like, being Dark Judas wasn't enough to make us win. That's like a royal fuck-up. Little Chad, not that meaningful for us anymore, even though I asked for it at one point. Brother Bobby, pretty much is a game-changer. Um, best item in the game. No doubt about it. Look, our damage is through the roof now. That's totally Brother Bobby. Plus a little Chad. They synergize well together, you know, it's like a dream team type thing. It's like a bounty hunter plus an occultist. Dropping the fattest, darkest dungeon references. Hey, I know there's people watching this that have not watched Darkest Dungeon content yet. Look, you're entitled to watch whatever you want, but if you're holding off on watching Darkest Dungeon because of like, you know, everybody likes it, but you know, I'm that that's made it so the hype is impossible to live up to in your mind, you should watch some Darkest Dungeon content, dog. Because that game is really fun. Not a huge overlap with what's going on in Isaac at all. They're, they're pretty different games. But I think if you like one, there's a pretty good chance you'll like the other. Mostly because it's just like really freaking good. So consider this my ad my self-advertisement here. Hey, I know you're watching one of my videos, but you should come watch Darkest Dungeon stuff as well, because that game is a good time and I really enjoy watching it. In addition to playing it, I really enjoy watching it. I watch Kate play it all the time. And if I if I happen to catch a stream of someone I like doing it, I enjoy it. So I didn't even talk about it, but Blue Baby is, is dead, and that's gonna do it. We're not gonna try to farm up more stuff. We only have one key anyway. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.